Yo, what's going on, everybody? My name is Omg Set Gamer. That intro sucked. That was terrible. That's the worst intro ever that I could do ever to a beatbox tutorial ever. I'm sorry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn my audio up. But yeah, anyways, guys, welcome back to a brand new video. And today, guys, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be doing a beatbox tutorial. Because I got a VIA YouTube message from like five of you guys saying, Hey, do a beatbox tutorial. Come on, man, do a beatbox tutorial. And I was like, Fine, you know what, I'll do it. I responded back to you guys. Some of you guys may have got it. I don't know. If you guys check, if you were one of the people who sent it to me. <clears throat> but yeah. So, anyways, we're going to be starting off with basic beats, which basic beats are simple. Alright, so the, here are the basic beats the kick, T snare, the bass drum. And then hi hat and case snare. Which case snare isn't really a basic beat, but it's not insanely hard to do. Right, so we're gonna start off with the case snare because it's the hardest sound to learn out of all these, I think. So basically, what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be taking your two molars on whichever side of your mouth is more comfortable. So basically, take your bottom jaw and shift it over to the other side, and you'll feel a pinch on the two molars on the side that is farthest away from where you're putting your jaws. So like if you're moving your jaws left, the jaw on your right is gonna have like a little pinch in the back or like like something inside your mouth. You're gonna feel some kind of pinch on your right side. Now if you're moving it to the right, you feel some pinch on your left side. So get it to whichever one feels more comfortable and doesn't hurt as much. Now once you've found that side, what you're gonna be doing is making a little like air pocket back in between the two molars of like if you were moving, let's say, I'm just gonna use for example, uh, you're moving your jaw to your right side. You can make a little air pocket in between the molar, the two top and bottom molars on your right, which would be your wisdom teeth or your second. Molar. Whichever, whichever molars you have. Whichever molars you have. What you're gonna be saying is you're gonna be saying K, making a little air pocket, and say K, 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 K. But make the K come out of that little <clears throat> air pocket or sound pocket thing. Make it to where you're saying K, K, K. And whenever you say it, you'll hear the <coughs> And that's pretty much how you're gonna get the sound. Now, another a way to practice this and to improve this is just to say the letter K, and you know that k, k, like the camera sound that you make whenever you're learning the letter K in school, you know that k, k. That's basically it. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's going to get what you're going to be doing. Alright, the next thing is we're going to be doing the kick, the And yeah, that's basically what you're going to be doing. Now, to do this sound, you're basically going to be setting your lips just normally together. Set them normally together. And I'm going to explain this in, I think, two ways if I remember the second way. But the first way is to push air to the front of your mouth. Now, I don't mean, like, freaking push all the air to your mouth to where your mouth, like, expands and be huge. I mean, just push a little bit of air to your mouth. And then your lips should stay the same. No, you shouldn't feel any pressure build up in your mouth. It should be just normal. And then basically what you're going to do from there is just go, just force the air out and then you'll get Now, another way to do this is if you know the <laughs> noise where you just stick your lips together and go and just breathe out and just keep your lips tight together. <laughs> and what you're going to do is basically do that but remove the <laughs> the <laughs> like kind of like the <laughs> part of it if you hear it like the <laughs> Like that part, the little like rumbly kind of part, and then just make it to where the. Now another way you can do this, the third way I just remembered this, is just say the letter B, 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 but then just take away the E and it should be B, E, B, B, and you'll get that. Or if you can't get it by just taking away the E, the B, the B, and it would just be B, B, right? Like basically saying the sound of it. Just basically say the B, but then take all of the vocal vocalization away from it. Just move your mouth and that kind of thing, but then add some punch to it so it's like <laughs> whenever you do it normally, <laughs> you kind of hear that little. 
and that's how you would get it from there. All right. Next thing we're gonna be doing is the T snare. The so basically, to do this, you're just basically gonna be saying T and putting your tongue, but you're gonna be just putting your tongue in that position. And then once you do that, just breathe out. And then just breathe out. I mean, that's really the only way to explain it. Or you can just say T and take a vocalization away from it. Crap, I just hit my microphone. Um, but then, um, <clears throat> the next sound is going to be the hi-hat. The <laughs> you're basically just going to be saying T-S. The <laughs> and that's really all it is. I mean, hi-hat is one of the easiest sounds. Now, the last sound that we're going to be learning here is the bass drum. The <laughs> basically, it's doing the kick, but adding F at the end. And to do that, you're just basically going to be taking your teeth and putting it on like the very back part of your lip, and then do the kick. And then the F will come out on its own. Now, if you practice this a lot, you can turn this into a snare-like noise. It it's kind of sounds like it, but listen. And it kind of sounds like a snare. You can use it as a substitute kind of snare thing. If you guys want to be able to like hum and beatbox at the same time, which I'll have a tutorial on that later. And uh, you know, while I'm at it, I'm gonna explain two other types of the basic beats. Now we're gonna be learning the boombox sounds here, really quick. Uh, the boombox sounds are it's very simple. They'll take you about. They'll, you probably already know how to do it. Like I won't even have to explain it to you. But for those of you that might not even know what it is and have no clue, you'll know. It's it's basically the kick and then. Psh, the B S H snare. The B S H snare. Now do the B S H snare. You're just gonna be doing the kick and going shh. And then you can combine it and go like. And you can combine it with the basic beats and go like. And yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good to combine with the basic beats. But yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. So, kind of, this is me, Omri. It's like gamer coming back. I just messed up my outro. Yeah. Anyways, guys, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like on this video. And I'm gonna leave a comment down below if you guys would like me to do more videos, tutorials, and like this video. If we hit 10 likes, then I'll do another tutorial on this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.